Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and this morning we are doing a vlog video, kind of a day in the life video. It's been a while since I've done one of those, and I am here this morning at the shop, and it is about 8.20. So I had two choices whenever I got up this morning. I was like, I could do their wait around here at the house and then eventually take things to the post office whenever it opens at nine or just head to the shop and try to get some things done. I decided on the latter. So here we are <laughs> and I will go back to the post office once it's like 9.30 or something, anytime after nine, but they're just not open and that's unfortunate. But I yesterday I packed up my car anticipating going uh, but I didn't leave here until about five somethings and they were, they were closed. So today we've got lots to do. It's Wednesday. So Wednesdays are days where I don't really go out anywhere. I kind of hang around here, I do things. And there is a lot to do. There's a lot of shipping. I'm not sure if I'm going to get completely caught up on the shipping because frankly, I have other things I'd like to do too. Um, like clean, organize, put things, yeah, I want to make a to-do list. That's what I really need to do. And of course, I need to edit a video for tomorrow. So there's there's lots of things. But first, I need coffee. We're gonna go. We're gonna go this way. I'm gonna. I'm I'm anxious to get some coffee and wake up. <laughs> so I have the the new AC unit is working. I have it going. It it set on a schedule, and there it is. It's 73. It says so. We will get we will get lights turned on. There we go. Oh, Misty sent me this. I wanted to show it. Isn't that fun? She sent me that little flamingo towel. So let's see. I will get to the coffee, but we need to also schedule a bulk trash pickup because these are a lot. These are the things that were all in the spare bedroom here at the shop. It's not really a bedroom. It's just a spare room. So all of that needs to go somewhere else because it's it's not going to be here anymore. No, no. Mm -mm. But we've got that. We've got stuff at the house. So there's a lot that we need for them to pick up. So that'll be great to finally get this all out. Because if you could remember how bad the other room was, so all of that stuff was in this room over here, which is so much cleaner now. I'll turn the lights on. Boop. There you go. So there's a floor. And then there's also, I've got boxes and stuff. I forgot those boxes were in here, really. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a nice room. It can hold things. Like for instance, my rolled paper is over there. That's what I use for shipping. I get that from the newspaper print shop. And then, you know, whatever else I want. Actually, that back corner over there, that is stuff that was here at the shop whenever I bought it. Now those were on the shelves. So that's a lot of figurines and things. And I've yet to do a haul video or any sort of a video on that stuff that I pulled. But there are smaller things that I thought, well, I could probably sell that. Now, a lot of the stuff, whenever I bought this place, I had to just donate it. It was like, it, it was kind of like yard sale quality stuff. It's stuff that I could sell, but it was just in the way and but I, I just pulled some small things that are good and there's a lot of things in that corner, more than it seems like. So this, by the way, this room was a dusty mess. Ooh, I need to remember, I'm turning my thing on. Boop. By the way, quick side note, this is an air purifier and I highly recommend it. I will put a link in the description, but also there is a link on my Amazon page where I have recommendations and it is very good it's a hepa filtration i think this one is rated for like 800 square is it 800 square feet maybe this one's i don't remember they they have them in different ratings for like all the way up to like 2500 square feet so every time you turn it on it turns like green because it's trying to like move the air and, and assess like how it is and then um so the speed is up and then it will equalize down if it needs so it's down in the blue level so it's um anyway it's not going nuts right now it's on auto though but it has different span speeds anyways it's a hepa filter it works wonderfully and i like it a lot so actually let me show you something um this is how i, I thought about it 
it, the, it's close to the filter needing to be changed. Let me show you this. Do you see how brown that is? That should be like pure white. The reason it is like that, one big reason. I had this unit, I had this unit in this room while I had the broom and I was like scraping the ceiling with the, like not scraping it, but you know, getting all the dust off the ceiling because it, there was dust everywhere in here. And it, it was really, really bad. I, I had to do all the walls. I wiped the walls now and it was just a huge mess. And I had that purifier going because there are two vent holes and I had the door shut. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be ridiculous. So I did, I finally got it cleaned. But yeah, so that was a quick side note. But I am gonna get to my coffee because I do need that and then We'll see what else is next. Mm, brilliant. Okay, so that is my White Castle mug. I love this mug. Yes, I do. You're a beautiful one. Isn't that great? This is vintage. White Castle. I also have Steak and Shake. I wouldn't mind more. Oh, calm down. We don't want to spill. We're going this way. We're going right here. Oh, we did it. Well, I usually don't make it a point to do a to-do list, but it really does help. And I feel like I'm way more productive whenever I make one than whenever I don't. So it may seem trivial to do because there could only be a few things on the list, but not only does it help organize your thoughts, but it create sort of a goal-oriented day. So I'll write down emails because, you know, we got to check them. And then we'll put a little bullet point. They make things fun. Bullet point. Okay, so emails and then I need to do shipping. So I will write shipping because that's a thing. And then, oh yes, post office. That is, that is a must. Oh, we need to edit a video. Edit video. All right, I'm covering up the names. So here are all of the uh, things I need to ship today. Um, so I've got those, those, those. This is my list. So that's, that's that. I still do have seven outstanding invoices, so there could be a couple more pop on. But uh, some of these are quite large, like $621. Okay, now, um, about 120 of that is shipping. <laughs> and I'll show you why. Let me go show you something, because this is, this is going to be something. All right, so that buyer bought all of the stuff right here. <laughs> now, if you have any... Um, if you're if you're in the reselling business or you you ship anything, this is some of the most tricky stuff to ship. Uh, consider and also it'll all be shipped together. I uh, the way that I formulated the shipping, I can either do it all in one big box or I could do it in two medium sized boxes and it should come out the same. But it's a lot. Like this is some really so what I'm worried about is anytime you have super delicate lightweight things in the same box as super chunky heavy things and that's where problems happen. So I have ways to to prevent anything from happening and maybe I'll actually film how I approach this whole thing and we can go on the journey together later but I'm not doing that one now. Uh, in fact I'm, I'm going to do easy ones. I need easy orders, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, we're gonna do some easy, oh, you little trash, get in the can. Mm! 
get in there. So for instance, I said I was gonna do an easy one, but this is one that I started yesterday and I just was like, eh. And so the problem with this one is it doesn't fit in a 12, 12, eight. And I don't really have a great assortment of larger boxes. I, ha I have like one extreme or the other. So this is a 12, 12, eight. These are free by the USPS. And I was thinking whenever I originally thought it, when I originally priced this out, that it would all fit in the same box. It's just not going to, no, ma no matter what I do. So, you know, we've got like a tin, we've got this pond, which is heavy and yeah. We've got the lid. That lid doesn't go to the pond. I know you're confused right now. It doesn't go that way. <laughs> and then we have, oh, you see what this is? That's tissue paper. By the way, so this tissue paper, there's like an apron in here. If you would like your own custom tissue paper, you don't get any with my logo on it. You get your own. But if you would like your own custom tissue paper, I have a link in the description to go check out No Issue Tissue. <laughs> no issue. No issue for you. No, but it's it's cool. Let me show you though. Um, here, I'll show you my stack of tissue paper in just a minute. Um, and then they got a lampshade and then they've got, you know, the pot and then this other thing on the side and then this afghan. So you, it would almost fit if it wasn't for like the pond. The pond, I think, and maybe the tin. <laughs> oh, and anyway, what I'd have to do with this is I have to Frankenstein a box together. And um, essentially I'm gonna make a 12, 12, 12 out of it. I might show how to do that. I might, but let me show you uh, my tissue paper. I actually have all this fun tissue paper right here. Now they sent this to me for free so that I could talk about it and show you, but isn't that just so cool? You can get, you know, pretty much any color writing or logo, your logo is for your tissue paper. And this is large, so it's like, this is the large sheet. They have two different sizes. I went ahead and got the large size because I figured, well, why don't I just tear it in half if I don't need it that big? And that's what I've been doing. So that apron, it only has like a half sheet. But yeah, go check them out. Really cool tissue paper. All right, I'm gonna show you just kind of the general idea of making a 12 by 12 by 12. This is a 12 by 12 by eight. Now the reason that I'm going to all this trouble at all is because this box was free by the USPS and like I said, I don't have any other size. So what I'm gonna do to make this a larger box is telescope two boxes together using this ruler, a pin, and a utility knife like this. So I'm putting the ruler down on the ground here uh, right on the table and then we'll measure up to, to the 12 mark and actually I'm gonna measure really up to the 11 and a half and draw so it'll be 11 and a half I just I want to be safe with the I guess I don't have to be safe but I might as well be safe 11 and a half and I'm just gonna draw like a little line there and I'm gonna do that on both of these sides here like this that way I can just do a ruler, like I put my ruler there, and then draw a line. Oh my goodness, I have to be so specific, don't I? There we go. Line, and then you just cut it off. You know, there are proper ways to use a blade like this. I never seem to use them the right way. So just know that I have safety in my mind, but maybe I'm not presenting it that way. So that is now, what's gonna happen is that's now the, the actual size of the box. So before, the box size would have ended about here where this fold is, and then this flap would have folded in. Well now, this is part of the side wall. So it's, this is the actual dimensions. So what we've, we're gonna end up with is about a 12 inch tall box. And now the other box that we put on top of this is gonna set right on top of here. It's gonna give a little bit more height. So I was trying to allow for that. That's why I did 11 and a half. All right, just have one more to go. Tip, you could just use this. So 
you just line that up along the top. And you could go straight with your blade. It'll give support where this is not having support. Because yes, this is a fold line right here, but the box that we telescope over it will not have a fold line on that box. So it'll be like somewhere down in here on that. That does that, that should make some sense. So it's not go it's not a weak point. And it's doubled up really. But I would rather it look nicer while I'm trying to figure this out and not be all sloppy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes, this is custom tape if you're wondering because I'm all about that custom stuff, aren't I? And I have a link in the description for that too. Get yourself some custom tape. It's not super cheap, but what is in life? All right, we're all done. So this is the final box. And as you can see, it comes just under 12 inches. So this is a 12 by 12 by 12. And essentially like what I, what I said is I put the other box, this is the box number two, I put it over it. So underneath this box, we have that, that line is underneath here where the other one was. On this box, that line will be down here. So I put tape around the joint. You can see where it there, where it would have normally folded. So that means this box was cut basically the opposite of the way the other one was. And this much of, the, of this box was cut off the bottom. And I did that before I built it. So it was just easier. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it and that one's done. So in case you're wondering, why didn't I just use a 12 by 12 by 12 box originally? That would be very smart. I don't know of anywhere that sells them. Uh, Walmart, I think the, the size they have would be about 14, 14, 12. And if I was to use a 14, 14, 12, that shipping would have been way more than, I think it was like $21. It would have been way more than that because the dimensions are a lot larger, which would mean the weight would have to go up. And if I'm then buying that box and I say, oh, you say, well, why don't you just make it smaller? You can cut them down, but then you're still, you're still then wasting time cutting down a box that you also paid for. A box like that would be between I don't know, about a dollar. It cost about a dollar. Um, so you, you're still, now, now you're spending a dollar and you're still cutting it down. So, um, and you're spending more on shipping or the customer, somebody's paying more on shipping and all the things. So if, if I could figure out where they sell 12, 12, 12 boxes, that would be fantastic. Uh, the problem is I don't run into the need to have that size very much. So to bulk buy 100 or 50 boxes online seems a bit dumb, but maybe I should just break down and do it. I should probably just do that. All right, I'm on to another interesting one. And this buyer actually bought this very cool Pink Panther melted plastic popcorn. And they also bought this. So this is very large. It is about 21 inches. So. What we're gonna do for this one, I'm gonna pull out a box and I'll show you. I'm gonna use this 12, 12, eight box and I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to slide it on in there. This one, however, I'm not sure what we're doing with that yet. These technically need to be, I mean, they go to the same buyer. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but it's gonna go inside this box. So how do we wanna do it? Probably like this, and then we can cut these flaps off. All right, so you can see what I mean. I just cut the flaps off the bottom. They're on the ground there. And then I slid that in. I put some paper around it because I didn't want it exposed right there. And then I can also run some tape along this seam and then the one on the back, which I usually do. But what I'm gonna do is put tape, so I'll push this down like this and then put tape along the edge. All right, in case you were wondering, that's what I decided to do. They're two separate boxes. It was cheaper that way. So we've got the Dixie Cups in here. I built that box out of scraps because, you know, why not? So it's, it's very good. What you hear is the cups inside of the, the plastic thing. It's very snug and there's bubble wrap around that and it's good. And then that's the, the thing. So 
there, I did it. All right, so I am just moving right along here and I'm gonna go ahead and do this awesome magazine. So I'm gonna ship this magazine via media mail, which is a cheaper way to ship things. But in order to do that, I'm going to put it in between some cardboard. So I just looked over here at my stash of things and I don't have any large pieces that I'd like. So we're gonna venture out over to the front because I wanted to see if I have anything that would be good for this. So I have a stash of cardboard up here that hasn't, it really hasn't made its way to be donated, or to, to be donated, to be recycled yet. So I'm trying to find a good size. A lot of this is kind of junk. Yeah, junk. This is just weird. How about this quill box? That could work. So on, yeah, that could work. I was wanting to really sandwich it between two, but I think I'll cut the corners and fold the corners in. That's what we'll do. That's a good one, see? We made it work. I think that'll be just the right size for it too. Or it might be a little big. Yeah. You're a little big. That's okay. That'll be good. All right, that worked really well. So I, like I said, I just cut the corners and then folded them in just like that. Now this has a lot of sturdiness to it. And then what I'm gonna do is take this entire thing and put it in a poly mailer. I'm gonna wrap it up tight too so that there's not as much stress on it because these wanna pop back up, but I'm not gonna sit here and wrap tape all around it. So that's what we'll do. I'll just shove it in there, shove it in. So I get these poly bag mailers from You Pack and Ship. And they're called Smile Mail because they make you smile, I guess. No, well, they really do. They really do. All right, so it's about 10 o'clock and I think I'm going to head over to the post office. I'm just gonna take a break from shipping. I've had enough for now. <laughs> no, it's, it's nice to break up the day. So I'll just leave everything on and going. No sense in, no sense in that. You like my safe door. <laughs> People get a kick out of that. It's interesting, right? It makes no sense. Let's keep it from, there we go. Okay, so let's just go. I always lock myself in. I like to be cautious. My flamingos, my tulips look terrible. They're folded over and floppy. These look better. All right, let's go. Okay, so I just pulled up at the post office and I'm behind the post office because what I do is I will get everything out of the car and ring the doorbell, <laughs> ring the door, bing, and then they'll roll me out a cart so that I could fill it up that way. Otherwise, I am, it's just a lot to take in the front. And I, I used to take it in the front and they were like, you know, you, you could just go in the back. Oh, do I have my phone with me? <gasps> no, I don't. I'm such a loser. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need my phone. No! So, guess what? I gotta drive back. Luckily, it's only six minutes. I'm tempted to just do it now. I need my phone because that's where the tracking numbers are the scan form. So as I'm explaining this, I have a, um, a uh, manifest, whatever you want to call it, like a, a master list of all the items on one form, one barcode, and then they scan this one barcode and then um, everything is scanned in. So they don't have to go through every single item. That's why I could just put it in, in a wagon or a cart and then it's just ready to go for them. So I think I have to go get my phone. Okay, I'm back. I didn't put you through any of that. I got it done and I'm back. <laughs> All right, let's go. So the car is full. See?
this in the car and then we'll go up front so that they can scan the form and we'll check the post office box oh my get in there get in there okay all right so that's taken care of and the post office box nothing just a little spam well you're not spam paper but there's yard sales in here sometimes and estate sales so maybe i'll look at that but now we can go back to the shop all right well it's you know it's coming on 11 and i just figured i might as well eat <laughs> rather than do a little shipping stop and then eat so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do that while I'm at it, I'll probably move these boxes. I'll move them first. Let's just do a little bit of stuff. We'll organize in anticipation of shipping more. That way we can get a clean surface for our uh, the rest of our boxes because there's a lot more to do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my lunch. You do the dishes too little dishes. I don't have very many. I just reuse the same things over and over again. Keeps it simple that way. Oh, let's throw the coffee away to the old filter. Great. And then I'll probably need to do the trash later as well. Ooh, I'm thirsty. I'm running low on water too. Oh my gosh. This place is becoming dilapidated it seems like. It's really not. Oh, you're stuck in the tape. All right. So, I'll go ahead and make my oatmeal. I just sort of eyeball everything. Put a little water in. And then the microwave for about a minute and a half. Well, while that goes, I'll go ahead. Oh, nuts, I dropped a plate. Where'd you go? Oh, you're way down there. I see. Lovely. Okay. I'll go ahead and get my strawberries cut up. Strawberry? Strawberry. Strawberry. I don't have much longer for these strawberries. They're going, they're starting to go bad. That's the bad thing about fruit. It doesn't last but a few days. Come on now, little strawberry, work with me. Work with me. Yep, so this is one of my favorite go-to lunches. It's just, you know, it's almost like a salad, the way that it's done up. Like a fruit salad, because it's the oatmeal, strawberries, raisins, pecan, or pecans? I think pecans. I forget. I always forget what the nut is called. All right, and then I've got my oatmeal. And then I take and put the strawberries in the oatmeal, just like so. Ah, I lost one on the floor. Ah, I almost threw one on the floor. Okay, there, uh, we're getting there. Now, let's see, now we need raisins. And a fork. Oh, nuts, I'm out of forks. I gotta wash a fork. That's the problem with only two forks. Okay. Okay, so now that I have a fork, I'm gonna put some raisins in here. I'll loosen them up with the little fork. See, that's what I do, I loosen some up. And then I get them in there, get in there. That's enough raisins. Okay, and then, Blueberry time. Let me get the blueberries. I just get like a little handful and they go in. And lastly, lastly but not leastly, we've got their almonds. I couldn't remember what they are called. And a handful of almonds, just like that. 
and then I mix it all up. Yes, you look delightful. So it's like a salad the way that it is. I have to tell you, salads, like in the proper sense, spinach or lettuce, they are so boring. And oh my gosh, they take so much time to chew them all up. This is just me ranting about leafy vegetables at this point, but. Okay. Tell you what, whenever I try eating salads and stuff, my mouth gets so tired. I, I, gotta, so I gotta massage my jaw when I'm done. My goodness. Okay, that's great. Doesn't it look spectacular? Mm-hmm. And then I got a grapefruit. So I'm reading all the comments and hearting them. If you had a booth, you have a store. Oh, yeah, well. Yes, but I don't have it open regularly. How do you spell regularly? Reg U L A R L Y. So it would just sit. Mm -hmm. Need the lid to the cookie jar. Ah, I have the strawberry cups. Yes. People think that I am open for like business all the time. Yes, but it's mostly for storage, not for daily shopping. I plan to have more, uh, what do you call it? Pop up shopping events, but not mm, more than like two a year. Whoopsie, doopsie, there we go. All right, so we are back at it. Just had my lunch, checked my emails, checked the comments, and I'm gonna keep going. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and plug another thing, which is bubble wrap. So the people over at American Bubble Boy do really great. And by the way, I have a ton, I have a ton. Of, <laughs> and that's some of it, I've got more in my trunk. But if you would like super fast shipping on bubble wrap, check out the link in my description. It is American Bubble Boy and they have great products. They have the mini bubble wrap like this here. So this is the 3 16th bubble wrap. They have that, they have like the larger bubble. They have other products too, frankly, but the bubble wrap is what we really need all the time. And they have great products and they're affordable. They're right along with Amazon prices and they have like two day shipping. It's, it's, it's like that fast. So go check them out. Check out the link in the description. If you click on it and you buy from that link, I will get something myself i'll get a little i'll get a little money myself so that that's always that's always great but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this fairy lamp in some bubble wrap all right so i have been shipping all morning and this is what i have it just it just seems like it never ends but that's okay we're we're getting closer and closer that box in particular was like a beast to deal with i, I it, it's over it's almost $300 worth of stuff in that one box. And it's just a lot. And I got insurance, of course I have insurance on it, but it's just, it's a strategy trying to put stuff in boxes sometimes. It's like, okay, if I put this here and I put this here, sort of like a puzzle, but then certain things are more fragile than others. So anyways, we've got that. I am about, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it all, but I'm gonna, I'm going this way. I don't know if you know what I'm doing. I mentioned it this morning. I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to start thinking about this. Okay, so, I mean, this is large. So, I mean, you can see what I'm dealing with. It's, it's a large piece here. Uh, in essence, what I'm going to do is double box things. So those thin lined, the, those pieces there with the thin 
strands, those will definitely be in a box. And then that box we put into the larger box. So that's, that's how that's going to go. But the, the hard part about this is just the shape of them and the size. So I guess the only way I'll know is if I start. <laughs> On top of that, that buyer did also say she wanted that vase over there too. And then one other thing, but that's going to definitely be its own box. Well, I almost got carried away and did the whole thing, meaning these are all done. So these are the more chunkier pieces. The way that I went about that, so this one was that orange bullseye one. It has been filled. So you, I put crushed paper inside of the vase. Then I wrapped it in bubble, lots of bubble wrap and then wrapped it in this thicker kind of like a grocery bag material. So that's done. Uh, the same thing was said about the other ones. Now, in the case of these, I filled the inside cavity with the crushed paper. So that should reduce a little bit of stress if any uh, outward pressure was put on it. And then this one's easier to tell because I didn't do it yet. So there, there's a, a recession right here. It, it goes inward. So I am folding the bubble wrap and wrapping it around where it's inside this. That way it builds it out and it's all the idea is that it's all one big tube and there's not more stress put on this part here than any of the other parts, if that makes sense. So I'll do the same thing down here. I'll, this will come out to like here. It'll be wrapped out. And then the entire thing will just basically be like a tube, a bubble wrap. And then I'll take that and roll that in the, uh, the paper. And then each one of these will be put into its own box and well, I'll just have to see after that what happens. Okay, so it is now 2.45 and I finished that box. I was actually very astonished that everything fit in this large box that I had out front. Uh, luckily I had that box because uh, I didn't have any new boxes that I could have used. So let me show you. There are about 17 boxes over here that I did today. And as it's almost three o'clock, I am probably going to switch gears and start, um, what was I going to do? I was going to start editing the video for tomorrow. So I just, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I do have also tonight at five, I'm going on live on a, um, another YouTuber's channel. So that, uh, so that'll be that. All right, so I almost forgot to end this video, but it's been a very long day and I am currently saving my video down for tomorrow and it is a little bit after eight. So once that finishes, it says it has five minutes left to upload. And once that's done, then I can set the other attributes that it needs and then we can get out of here. So with that, uh, So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.